Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to use the given graph of f to find a number delta such that if zero is less than the absolute value of x minus three is less than delta, then the absolute value of f of x minus two is less than 0 0.5. So the first thing that we can note is that we have this zero, right? We're saying that zero is less than the absolute value of x minus three is less than delta. This is saying that the absolute value of x minus three is less than delta. This means that the magnitude of this is less than delta, which means that x minus three is less than delta and greater than negative delta, right? It falls within this range. We don't have to know what that means yet, but it just does. And this zero um, added on to this inequality only specifies that the absolute value of x minus three does not equal zero, right? Because obviously any number is less than zero, the absolute value won't um, be equal to because the absolute value is inherently not negative. But what we're saying here is that x minus three is not equal to zero, x is not equal to three. And so the reason why we have this specificity of zero here instead of just this is because we're not talking actually about what's happening at three. Right? So we're looking at, at the behavior of this function as it approaches this point. And then at this point exactly, it actually has different behavior. Right? It has a value above this range that we're going to be looking at. So that's just the caveat to explain why that zero is there. But anyways, we are going to have to dissect these um, inequalities and remove the absolute values to actually understand what we're getting at. So here we're saying that x minus 3 is greater than negative delta, less than delta, with obviously this um, addition on there. But if we solve for x here, we get that x is less than three plus delta, and it's greater than three minus delta. So this is basically saying that we're looking at a range for whatever delta we find, where all values of x in this range are less than delta away from three, right? So if this is um, one, delta was one, then this would be values that are less than one away from three. What does that mean? That means it's between two and four, which is what you would actually get if you plug in one. So we have that. And then we also have that the absolute value of f of x minus two is less than 0 0.5. So very similarly, this means that it is less than 0 0.5 and greater than negative 0 0.5. And if we add 2 here to solve for f of x, we get that f of x is less than 2.5 and greater than 1.5. So what we're doing is we're looking for a delta such that if we take away delta or add delta to 3, we are going to get out f of x values that are in this range. So we have this marked here on the graph. We're saying we need f of x to be between these two y values, right? So that corresponds with these two points. So we're looking at all the points in between here. We're saying how much away from three do we have to go before we find values um, of x that output values of f of x that are not within this range. So if we see that to be between 1.5 and 2.5, x has to be between this point, 3.8, and this point, 2.6. And we're therefore saying that 2.6 has to equal 3 minus delta, and 3.8 has to equal 3 plus delta. Right? And as we'll see, this will output different deltas. Right? So we get delta equals 0 0.4, and delta equals 0 0.8, right? And so that means that if we go 0 0.4 to the left of 3, we're going to get values that are outside of this range. And if we go 0 0.8 to the right of 3, then we're also going to get values that are outside of this range. And so what we need to do is we need to say, okay, which one is actually delta? Is it 0 0.4 or 0 
and we have to go with the more restrictive delta, the smaller delta. Why? Because if we choose 0 0.8, yes, it's true that if we don't go um, more than 0 0.8 in this direction, we'll stay within this range of y values. However, if we subtract 0 0.8, we go in this direction, right, that's 2.2, that is going to correspond with a y value that is outside of the range that we're looking at. Meanwhile, if we're going 0 0.4 in this direction, we're okay. But also if we go 0 0.4 in the positive direction to 3.4, because this is the more restrictive value, it is within the range as well. Therefore, our delta is 0 0.4.